What's going on? What are these man-made monstrosities? I don't like change! Here we go again. Hey everybody, this is the Mage of Ancients, back at it again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Today we're going to be unboxing the new Link Strike Starter Deck. It's the new Link format, which means that it's time for some new rules, as well as the new um, kind of mo new type of monster called Link Monsters. I like I like this deck. I think it's a good way for players to get their foot in the door when it comes to learning about the new Link summoning rules and Link Monsters. So as you can see, this is the front of the package. Uh, there's Yusaka and Decode Talker from Yu-Gi-Oh! of Reigns. Um, I think I'm on episode four. The next episode I'm going to be watching, I suppose, is going to be about the Trick Stars. Um, anyway, so here it is. There's the front, and there's the advertisement about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I like that game. And this is the back. Um, I'm just give you a quick rundown of the entire um, card list that's in this deck. There's also um, a playmat and the beginner's guide. Um, these are there are some good tech cards in here, so I highly recommend uh, picking up. Um, a, a starter deck or better yet if you want to uh, make a budget-friendly deck that only costs like $30 Then I highly recommend picking three copies of this starter deck. So let's get to this Let's get to this. Let's uh, let's start unboxing this bad boy So, oh. Here we go yeah. So here we go um, I already unbought. I already um, opened two of these um, decks already, so I saved the third one for you guys. Well, first of all, the beginner's guide and the play are the are the back is again. But what's surprising is that um, is that there's no uh, second cover to seal the deck with, and I think that's good. At least I have less packaging in this. I think that's a good thing. So anyway, let's uh, get uh, to all the other contents in this um, in this package. So here's the beginner's guide. If anything, I'm going to read over this just so I can be clear about all the new rules, uh, especially since the, um, the two extra monster zones are now in this um, in this format. So here it is, the playmat. It's surprising they don't have any um, alternate art in the back of this playmat. Well, that would have been cool to see some alternate art. Uh, but here it is, the playmat right here. So that's the field spell zone, the extra deck zone. Um, oh, and up there are the extra monster zones that you need to special summon your um, extra deck monsters to from now on. And here are the main monster zones and the graveyard, the deck. So here they are. The pendulum zones are moved are now moved down to the spell and trap zones on the left and right sides. So that's the playmat. Now let's get right to the deck. So oh yeah, you see, it just comes right off. There's no um, extra packaging. Still think it's a good thing. Um, as we can already see, that is the Link Slayer that you can special summon. Um, it's the new Cyrus monster you can special summon without um, any uh, tribute. The Link Slayer is basically a cyber dragon. I think that's really cool. Um, but let me uh, unbox these cards. Let me unpack these cards and I'll get right to um, showing you what they are. So here it is, Link Slayer. You can special summon this when you control no monsters. And there's also the added effect where you can discard two cards, then uh, target and destroy as man that many spells and traps on the field. And here it is, the ultra rare decode talker. Nice. And there's the there's the link markers. Are they link markers or link arrows? And the other things you want to note about the link monsters is that along with the link arrows, instead of defense points, they have a link number down here, which is the number of link material that you need in order to uh, special summon um, a link monster from your extra deck. So decode talker, it gains 500 attack for each monster it points to. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card or cards you control, you contribute a monster this card points to, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. I think it'll come in handy. And then a super rare Ram Clouder. You can tribute a monster, then target a Cyber monster in your graveyard and special summon it. I'm really digging this new Cyber uh, type. I can't wait to see what other Cyber monsters we get um, in future sets and decks. That'll be really cool to see. And here is the super rare Honeybot, a uh, Link 2 uh, Honeybot actually. Two Cyrus monsters, and neither player can target monsters this card points to with card effects, and those monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. Sweet. <laughs> no pun intended. And here is the Link 1 Link Spider. 
requires one normal monster. But one thing that I really do want to try out with the Link Spider is that uh, since it's a normal, since it's a that since it requires a normal monster, is that I can incorporate the Link Spider into, let's say, uh, Magnet Warriors or maybe the King's Knight, Queen's Knight, and then Jack's Knight uh, monsters. I think that would be really cool to try out. And here is the level two normal Bitron, a level three Draconet, a Galaxy Serpent. It's a tuner. Level 4 Mystery Shell Dragon. Beast King Barbaros. I heard that this this card was included in the starter deck Yuya as well. And look at that, 3,000. It's like a it's just like a blue eyes white dragon. Level 8 and 3,000 attack points. Normal summon. This normal summon this card without tributing, but it's a riddle original attack that comes 1900. Tribute three monsters to tribute summon, but not set this card. If summon this way, destroy all cards your opponent controls. So it's like Guild for the Lightning. That's really cool. And Cyber Dragon, always a good card to get. I mean, always a cool card to get, I mean. Level 4 Photon Thrasher, special summon when you don't have monsters. Xerion Universe. Evil, Evil Swarm Mandragora. Marauding Captain. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon a level 4 lower monster from your hand. Sangin. Now that this card is unbanned, we can uh, actually play Triple Sangin now. So I can't wait to see what we can do with it. Curry Bandit. Marshmallow, Card Card D. Uh, surprisingly, I actually got two super rare Card Card D uh, cards from um, a few booster packs of the Secret Forces. But this is a good card to still get, even in common rarity. Ryko Light Sworn Hunter. I just might incorporate this, in, incorporate this into my Light Sworn deck. Who knows? Battle Fader. That's a great card to get, as well as Swift Scarecrow and Effect Veiler. So those are the monsters. And now here is the f uh, field spell uh, for Cybers monsters. Or actually, it's uh, Link monsters. Cynet Universe. All the Link monsters you control gain 300 attack. Once per turn, target a monster in the graveyard and so shuffle it into the deck. This card on the field is destroyed by card effects and all the monsters and the extra monster zones to the graveyard. Monster Reincarnation. Another great tech card. As well as Dark Hole. I haven't seen a common Dark Hole since um, the the very first Yugi starter decks, uh, Yugi and Kaiba starter decks. Mystical Space Typhoon, Book of Moon, Forbidden Lance, nice. United We Stand, that's cool. Pot of Duality, like I said, there are a lot of cool tech cards to get in this, which is why I recommend getting the deck. Burden of the Mighty, Supply Squad, Terraforming, I think this will go very well with uh, Fire Kings. Terraforming, and the traps uh, was starting with Jar of Avarice, Call of the Haunted, Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute, Ring of Destruction, Bottomless Trap Hole, Compulsory Evacuation Device, Fetus Chain, and finally Dark Bribe. That's cool. It's just a quick unboxing to show you guys what you can get in a starter deck. Um, link strike. So if you want to learn uh, how to link summon and to just get the new format down packed, then I highly recommend getting this deck. So that's it from here guys. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave comments and suggestions down below and what uh, other videos you guys would like to see as well as as well as well uh, on my social media platforms on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos just like this. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time.